Did you know that the number eight eighth has a special meaning and spiritual importance? For many of us, it is an angelic number, a number that brings luck and prosperity. But one thing is certain, for all religions, this number has a meaning. It has links with the divine which is within us. And they say that if you write the number 888 on a piece of paper and place it under your pillow, you can transform your life. By doing so, you will indeed be able to attract prosperity, serenity, and inner peace. But how are things really going? Make yourself comfortable and stay until the end, because at the end of this Zen story, you will find the answer to this fascinating mystery. And also, you will discover the power of the number 888 and how to use it to attract what you want into your life. But before continuing, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and enable notifications. This way you will be notified when we publish new content for your spiritual growth. As the sun lazily set over the horizon, painting the sky with fiery hues that dance on the rocks like tons of fire, the old and wise monk Izo is about to reveal something unique to his disciples. Around the crackling fire, Izo's disciples impatiently awaited the Buddhist monk's words. They knew that once again, their mentor would amaze them with extraordinary revelations. Izo, in his calm and persuasive voice, began to tell an ancient story, one of those capable of opening the mind and leaving a deep mark in the hearts of each of them. In the dawn of time, the monk began, a mystical number arose from the depths of the universe, 888. Since then, its energy has permeated creation, bringing abundance, prosperity, and balance. Like a rushing river that nourishes life, this number brings with it the promise of a bright future, a future full of joy and fulfillment. The monk bent down and picked up a small sheet of snow-white paper. With precise and delicate gestures, he traced the number 888 in golden ink. His calligraphy, as fluid as a mountain waterfall flowing into the valley, seemed to leave a mark in the minds of the disciples. This symbol, he explains in a soft voice, contains an ancestral force, capable of attracting positivity into your life like a magnet attracts iron. Consider this number as a lucky talisman, a bridge that connects heaven and earth, a portal that will lead you to a world of wonders. The disciples listened in silence, delighted by the master's words. Their eyes shone with curiosity and hope, like stars lighting up in the night sky. 888 is more than just a number, Izo continued, his voice vibrating with wisdom. It is a key that opens the door to the unlimited potential of the universe. And therefore, if we know how to interpret certain messages well, with the unlimited potential that resides in each of us, like a magical portal leading to a world of wonders, this number will allow you to access an infinite reserve of energy and wisdom, an inexhaustible source of inspiration and inner strength. One of the younger disciples, eager to know more, asked, Master Izo, how can this number open the doors to prosperity and inner peace? The monk, looking at everyone with a broad smile, invited them to write the number 888 on a sheet of white paper in gold or red ink, symbols of prosperity and luck. The sheet was then to be placed under the pillow before going to bed like a hidden treasure waiting to be revealed. While you sleep, Izo whispered in a firm voice, your mind will open like a flower to the sun and the energy of 888 will flow through you, purifying your mind and preparing you to receive new gifts. It will be like a rain of blessings falling on the thirsty earth Dreams will turn into prophecies, intuitions into flashes of genius and synchronicities into invisible guides that will lead you to your highest destiny. The disciples nodded and with hearts full of hope and paper with the number 888 in their hands, they headed towards their rooms. The ritual Izo had spoken of had affected them deeply and they were eager to perform it with all the confidence and faith that they could muster. In the quiet of the night, the disciples retired to their rooms, lulled by the song of nocturnal birds and the rustling of leaves. The paper with the number 888 lay under their pillows, like a precious talisman emanating a subtle and vibrant energy, 
and that night a very strange thing happened. Everyone dreamed of something, and the dreams became vivid and colorful, full of mysterious symbols and messages to interpret and use as maps to one's happiness. When the disciples awoke, they felt transformed as if a cool breeze had swept away the clouds from their minds. A feeling of renewed energy and deep inner peace permeated their being, like a wave of positivity that enveloped and intoxicated them. Over the next few days, surprising events began to manifest in their lives. New opportunities were knocking at their doors, like flowers blooming at dawn. Unexpected encounters lit their way, like beacons in the night indicating the route. Happy coincidences led them towards the realization of their dearest dreams, like shooting stars that grant wishes. The disciples, amazed and happy with these events and this transformation, went to Ezo to thank him and ask him to know more about the number 888. The wise monk, with a kind smile, invited them to sit around the fire which crackled brightly like a beating heart which united them under one roof. 888 is an angel number, Ezo explained, his voice vibrating with wisdom. It is a message sent from our spiritual guardians, a precious gift that imbues our lives with hope, love, and protection. Like a beacon in the night, this number guides us towards our highest destiny, illuminating the path ahead with its golden light. In Buddhism, the number eight represents the eightfold path, or the path that leads to enlightenment. And the 8A is seen as a symbol of perfection and spiritual awakening, a symbol to respect and thanks to which one can find one's path in life. Master Izo, a disciple asked, is it true that this number is also important for other religions? The monk smiling replied that in Christian tradition, the number 888 is associated with Jesus Christ because in Greek, the name Jesus has this same numerical value. And it is for this reason that it is considered a symbol of redemption, salvation, and eternal life. Azo told stories of angels and spirit guides who, through this issue, had offered help to people in difficulty. He explained that this number is often present in prophetic dreams, sudden intuitions, and surprising synchronicities, like an invisible thread that weaves the fabric of our destiny. The 888 is a symbol of balance and harmony, Ezo continued. Like a bridge connecting heaven and earth, this number helps us find the right balance between our spiritual aspirations and our material needs. It is an invitation to live a meaningful life in which outer prosperity is accompanied by inner growth, providing us with emotional balance and mental well-being. As the disciples listened with great interest and their hearts were grateful to their mentor for the wisdom he had imparted to them, the monk taught them how to meditate on the number 888. Thinking of this number, dear ones, visualize how a golden light passes through your body and purifies your soul. And pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that manifest in your life, recognizing them as messages from the universe that guide you towards your destiny. The disciples, with hearts full of gratitude, continue from that day on to constantly practice the ritual of the number 888 and to meditate on it. Their life became a journey of discovery and joy, where each day was a new chapter in a wonderful story. The numbers danced before their eyes, like notes of celestial music inviting them to follow the rhythm of the universe. And their lives, despite the challenges and trials they were subjected to, continued in the name of trust, faith, and perseverance. Challenges are like stones that help us build the path of our life, Ezo had told him during his classes. Do not be afraid of falling, because it is only by falling that you learn to get up again. 888 is with you. You just need to open your heart to feel its energy. The most difficult test was for Goro, a young disciple with a pure heart and a kind soul. A sudden fire destroyed her house, leaving her with nothing. Goro was discouraged and cried desperately, believing that the universe had abandoned her to her fate. Ezo took her hand and led her to the top of a hill overlooking the valley. The sun was rising, painting the sky in shades of pink and orange. Look, he said, pointing to the breathtaking view. The universe has not abandoned you. 
It has entrusted you with this ordeal to make you reborn from its ashes like a phoenix. Remember that 888 is with you. Have faith and your inner strength will guide you through adversity. Gora watched the sun rise and felt a new strength rise within her. The monk's words gave him hope and determination to rebuild his life. With the help of his classmates and the community, Goro built a new house, more beautiful and more resistant than the previous one. After overcoming various trials and challenges, the disciples felt transformed. They had acquired a new awareness of themselves and their place in the world. One day, Izo gathered them together again and asked, What have you learned from all this? The disciples, moved and conscious, recounted their experiences. They had learned that true wealth lies not in material things, but in inner strength, love and compassion. And that the number 888 is not a magical lucky charm, but the symbol of their unlimited potential. And again, that the key to a happy and fulfilling life is to trust your intuition and live in harmony with yourself and with the universe. Master Izo looked at them with pride and greeted them with these words. Now you are ready to spread your light into the world. Use your wisdom to help others and create a better world.